In this video, we will go over transferring build exact invoices and, de and purchase orders into Zero. So here we have our purchase order create I created earlier and all its details in here. I've created two line items in this one, one for our labor of equipment and labor of say staff. Put some test data in it just to give it values. So in Zero, you can see how it works. Uh, make sure everything in here is all good and it is received. Okay, so in integrations on the left hand side, you just find zero. You have these two sync options, either one works, and then it will just take a short time to sync up depending on how much data you're transferring. I'll see, I'll come back in a bit when it's finished. Okay, zero has just finished syncing up. So if we go over to zero now, here is our demo company. For that we're going to be looking at. So if you go to, sorry, not accounting, go to business and click bills to pay. There up the top is our new uh, bill we put in through Build Exact. This is just the purchase order I showed. And as you can see, all the details are here as they were in Build Exact, including the reference number and the Build Exact job uh, ID. Now you can change your details in here like you would with any other bill, including making it approved or not, saving it, or just changing names and dates. So if you go back to business, you can then click invoices, and up here you see our invoice that we sent over via build exact. It has all the as you can see it has all the details as it did in within build exact, though this time including GST and whatnot. So as you see, transferring to zero is fairly easy. Thank you for watching.